Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time. All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's Lucy Coach fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Monster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. You ready to fight? Good. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's gonna try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And a nice left hand there on the inside. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. 
Oh, pretty good entry here on the double leg takedown. No good. And they separate. Sneaky head kick. Lee gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Wow, what a head kick! And a miss with the right hook. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Ooh, what a head kick. Beautiful strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Nice punch land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Stop, stop, stop. Level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. And they clinch once again. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Gets the elbow up into the target. What a tricky head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hands to block the uppercut. So look for him to throw something else now up top. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he followed up. He was so used to punching coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, single collar tie now. Big kick land. Certainly found the target. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Recovery, man. Right back to his feet. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. 
Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Able to get tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten in a very close oh. round. A takedown like that might be the difference. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Back to his feet, good. Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to get the night. Well, to the left side. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one. In wow. class, hands up, and down. we've got the takedown. Oh, nice! Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Open St. Prune has got to like that transition there. Mission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. He's a tech on bar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. 
Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. He can't take any of those kicks. And they set him. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Double single collar tie. Boy, tie plump. Good stick. Some nice knees there by him. Pretty good right hand. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he comes through with a big knee. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Left hand. Now the transition to the judo throw, right into side control, where he will have no shortage of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Final minute now of round four. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. 45 seconds remain in the round. Back to the feet now. Good punch, Lance. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Lands a double leg takedown. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon him in the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 
Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. I mean, how many can he take? Fifteen seconds remaining. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 50 45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Monster! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly, pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person.